So when I made this map the first time, uh, the wood was only thick around the player, but around the middle it was a, a thin wood. Like I had everything kind of big around the player, and towards the middle it was thinner and thinner. So like the farther you go, oh. the easier it would be to chop. Yeah, but I didn't know it by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, right? Like I, I, I decided against it because I, I don't know. Like in the middle, it was just like a three lay, three wood thing. Like in the very that's interesting enjoy. though that would be kind of cool i mean both are yeah, cool but that's just kind of cool like you know your your iterations through the map i i could kind of yeah, see yeah. that yeah 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 exactly exactly but uh, yeah i decided against it because i don't know like i was kind of afraid of too many meme strats happening and i couldn't like because it's a tour like by the way if i was doing this for uh costume games like not a tournament i would go with this first idea but because it's a tournament you have to be a little bit more yeah. conservative about how you do stuff so that's what I'm talking about. Like, you have to approach things a good, like there is no such thing as a good map and a bad map, in my opinion. Like, obviously some some can be said that objectively this or that, but it depends on the situation. So like for a tournament, I didn't go for this crazy wood line that gets thinner. Yeah. It's a tournament, but if I was making it for a costume game, I would make it. So yeah, like, it, yeah, the map has to fit the scenario you put it for. It cannot just be whatever you like. So yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> and you have to think about the the rain game. But you know, now that you think about that, I'm like, oh man, that's that's even cooler. You know, the the thinner wa uh, wall because that's even a, it's like it's like a it's like a another level of this this complex map. You know, is yeah, hey, do you... that, that's what it was in the beginning. So you know, I, I might I might reverse it if you really like. It. <laughs> <laughs> if the players, uh, I don't know, if someone hears this podcast and thinks it's a good idea. I don't know, like, I think for the competition it might be a, a little problematic, but I definitely want to try it out, like, costume games. Maybe later I, I will change it around, yeah. Yeah, I mean, then it kind of, like, you know, like, just when you when you say that, like, oh, okay, well, would players then put a, a town center near the center? Exactly, that's or what I want to say. But then if you do that and you chop through, well, now you have a very vulnerable town center from not only your opponent on this side, but then your that's opponent on this point. side then could take down that town center. You know, exactly. and I don't so think an outpost, and then are you a wall, and like, oh. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's it's like a bunch of variables yeah. I have to kind of consider. Yeah. And yeah, I, I just, I couldn't decide if it's a good idea or not. Like, I love the idea, but I couldn't decide if it's a tournament good idea, you know? Yeah. That's the, that's the thing. Like where, where are, like, where the map exists, because the map exists in a tournament. It doesn't exist just in my head. So I have to think, like, can I, like, can it be exploited and, like, the, the answer I gave myself was I I don't know like and because I don't know I don't want to risk it. So, and, yeah. and I get, guess you know you're hitting that 15. I'm again I'm just brainstorming because this is this is cool yeah, to me. Go ahead. Is if I you, love this. This is what I do. Yeah. Like, this, is, this is basically my, my my job. So yeah. If you did <laughs> have like my, my yeah what I love to do my passion. If you did have a thinner wall here, maybe the they would want to get to age mm -hmm. three so that way could they build a stone wall. Like maybe just past the thin wall, so then you break through. Yeah, yeah, so then it'd become a two v one. You know, maybe that's where people could exploit it. Maybe that would be the downside. You know, of it. Um, yeah, yeah, that could be. That could be. Um, it's a good. Yeah, it's, it's a, a cool suggestion. map. It's a cool. I mean, it's not a I'm just. I I like it either way. I'm just like you know when I see this. Stuff. I'm excited to see it play. Like yeah. it, maybe it won't work. Like maybe it will yeah. play the same every time and it will become boring. I. Like, I, I hope not because I have all these crazy ideas for scenarios that could happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely expecting to see this one played. Like, did you a, a drunk map, but I love it. Did you want to share any of those ideas on how you think it will play out? Or do you want to not necessarily give any of that away? Mm, yeah, like, I, I, I kind of gave it away already, right? Like, uh, I think the, the idea is you chop through, but what is the timing? And how much people will uh, focus on 1v1 against teaming up, you know? It's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm willing to say about this one. <laughs> Do you think it's probably more likely a, a two town center map so we can get more villagers to then chop through the woods faster? Or or what's what's that? There's that, that lumber research. That way you can chop trees down faster. So that way maybe you're not collecting the trees and you're just chopping them down yeah. to get them out of the way. Yeah, definitely forestry and maybe even like, yeah. you know, Mongols have the improved version of forestry. Maybe that could be like, you chop with one strike, you can just go through all the woods in a second. Maybe that's an idea. Uh, like, there are so many ideas you can play with and uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so before, oh, do I want to...
Okay, let me open it up this and I got another question for you. Um, I wonder if Mongols would be interesting in here because let's say if you're a Mongol player, right? You mm -hmm. defeat your opponent over here. Well, then you can just move your entire base over. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to rebuild it. You know, you can migrate it into your, you know, the second side. So that'd be interesting. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, what sieves do you think may be stronger on this map? Um, yeah. So so one thing uh, I think I think it's kind of a long distance away, right? Because it, it's two v two, three v three. So the distances are pretty long. Uh, I think that for, for this reason, like you can uh, kind of defend rushes better. It's not because of this map. It's because how uh, team games work, right? Mm -hmm. And I think for this reason, like. Uh, Hmm. I would say Abbasid could be good on this map. I would say English can definitely be good because you can reach, I think you can reach a late game here. And even even if not, I think like Feudal Rush on this map is also kind of viable. Like you can do English just straight on to your enemy. Uh, and you have a lot of food. Like if you put pressure, you can use all this sick wood to keep going with your economy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I would say... For me, and I'm not a pro player, I would go for Abbasid and uh, English, uh, yeah, maybe HRE. And, and the Mongols yeah, because of what I mentioned, right? Oh, yeah. No, I, I don't <laughs> want to be a Mongol, you know, that's my secret. <laughs> I'm in the same boat. I'm not a pro either, you know, and and probably mm -hmm. map, map analysis is probably one of my weak points, too. Um, so that's why I wanted, you know, invited you on, too, just to kind of get that, you know, another level of insight in here. Yeah, 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 definitely. Like, this one, this one map, like, I usually have an idea of how a map will be played. I think, like, on this map, I just know few, like, because this map is so different, I know less than any other map. And, like, I usually kind of try to anticipate what the pros will do. But on this map, I'm actually, I can't wait to see what it's going to be. And, like, it's not a, yeah, I usually have a better idea. But this one is so different. So, yeah, I can't wait. And just another, um, did you want to say, before I move on from uh, Joust Team Fields, is there anything else that you want to talk about it or mention about uh, it? No, I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> now, now is there is there just for um, resources, it looks like there's, um, each player has two hunts, uh, three berries. Is that accurate? Uh, no, they have three hunts. Oh, three. But yeah, but they don't have oh, a boar. One, two, three. Oh, they don't have a boar. Okay. So one extra hunt then, or is it right? Because usually it's two per map, right? So it's one yeah. extra hunt per player. Yeah. No boars. What else yeah. do they get? So uh, the extra hunt and no boar. Uh, actually, at the beginning, uh, I I wanted to do two boars and one hunt. But yeah, I don't know. I just played with it. And I think like we, I want maps with the similar amount of hunt, but different because it makes certain strategies a little bit more viable. For example, professional scouts, which you nev we never see, maybe with three deer packs. Like, I don't increase the bounty, right? But there are more deers, so you can maybe bring more deer into the TC. And things like professional scouts can become viable on this map. I, I just want to kind of explore new ideas to use the same bounty, but in a different way. So yeah, uh, I used three deers and no four. Um, yeah, and there are only two small goals. Usually in, in the game you get three, so you only get two. And the large goals are more towards uh, the middle. Okay. And there is another some, uh, like interesting thing about this map where the resources are mirrored between the players, but they are not mirrored in every lane. So every lane is different. Okay. But on each lane, it will be mirrored. Like, you know what I mean? So like player one from team one and against player one from team two, they will have uh, the same resource distribution uh, across the lane. Like the gold will be towards the center for both of them on the same uh, distance from the second side, for example. Uh, but on a different lane, it will be different, but for them it will be mirrored. So it will be fair between them, but on a different lane, it will be fair, it will be different, but fair between other players, if you get what I mean. Like yep. on one lane, it can be gold towards the middle and then a different lane, it can be stone towards the middle. So it's kind of like you get a different lane each time, which is part of, how, what you want in a randomly generated map, but it's still fair, which is also something you want in a randomly generated map. So yeah, it was actually pretty tough to make this map not look crafted. Yeah. Because we always want the generated maps to look kind of, you know, to make the player adjust to the map. So on this map, which is pre pretty straightforward, it was hard to think about ways to make it uh, RNG based. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the way that each lane is basically its own map. Yeah. And yeah, I think it's, I think it's cool. 
And yeah. it looks like uh, two small stones and one major stone too. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And you know, I honestly, uh, you know, it's probably a good thing that you didn't do the the boar route, right? Because with just having the extra deer and no boar, it kind of opens it up to all sieves, you know, or like it includes the Muslim sieves because, yeah, you know, maybe that maybe we want to pick one of the Muslim sieves because you you know yeah. you can't hunt from the boar, or if someone played you know a non-Muslim sieve, then they could, yeah. you know, get two exactly. boars because, because <laughs> deals are for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, and this also opens like a few technologies which are under you at the moment. Like, like professional so scouts, good. right? Exactly, yeah, yeah. And may maybe it's good for the Malians, they can go like, you know, uh, veterans, uh, how is it called? Veteran scouts or scout warriors, and then go professional scouts. It can, it can be like, you can think about a few strategies. <clears throat> so I think it's going to be interesting, to say, yeah, to say the least.